Gamma Gamer Fuel, does it work? Let's talk about it in this episode of Center Nation. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Center Nation. This is Odin. Gamma Gamers Fuel, G Fuel, does it work? Well, before I get into uh, the ifs and pros and cons, I'll give you a little backstory to how I found it. Um, less than a year ago, I was diagnosed with type A diabetes. And with finding that out came the pleasure of having to check my blood and glucose levels and, uh, and taking insulin and pretty much cutting sugar out of my diet. Up to that point, uh, yeah, I was one of your typical hardcore gamers on double xp weekends or new game releases you could find me playing some pretty hardcore sessions where i'd be up all night or pretty much pushing the sleep boundaries and uh i'd like to purchase an energy drink from time to time to help me get get me through those long sessions and um now that sugar's been taken out of my diet that's not an option no more so pretty much i'm stuck to drinking black coffee and uh, unsweetened tea so as you can imagine, I got a pretty bland uh, <laughs> uh, choice of beverages when it comes to uh, while I'm gaming. And uh, searching through the web, I stumbled upon Gamma G Fuel. And uh, they boast, you know, sugar-free. They boast uh, gluten-free, which is uh, my wife has celiac disease. And uh, that's one of those you're not allowed to have gluten, which is a... Uh, protein uh, food protein that people are allergic to which is coming pretty popular so this was a product that enticed not only for me but you know maybe my wife also so I checked into it ordered some samples and checked it out and come to find out the G Fuel it uh, it's loaded with the antioxidants there's no sugar there's no gluten uh, there's really nothing in there it's harmful there's about the um, as far as caffeine goes there's the amount of a cup of coffee in there which really isn't a whole lot and uh which not a bad thing uh i expect it to be just uh, loaded with caffeine you know to get you by but it has a lot of the other things that's you know they boast help with the uh concentration reflexes stimulate the I do believe the frontal cortex of the brain. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Making a long story short, I ordered some up. So we could try it out. Uh, waited one night for uh, me to be tired and uh, gave some samples to Nubus also so that he could try it also at the same time. And in this gaming footage, uh, this is the night that, in particular that we did try it. Uh, we were both really tired. Uh, it was late at night. We wanted to see, put it to its test and really check it out. Now, I want to say this just to get it out of the way and let everybody know. I am not affiliated. I'm not paid in any way to do a promotional video for Gamma. This is all my personal opinion and pretty much a fact finding what me and Nubis found out about it. Um, yeah, they're not paying us to say anything. This is just something that I really thought the uh, game community could learn from. But, uh, yeah, so we took it. All right. Um, mix it up. Comes in a powder form. You mix it up in a uh, 12 or 16 ounces of water. 16 ounces, I think, standard size water bottle. And uh, you drink it. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not going to go over a taste test like most videos have of, uh, <laughs> on YouTube. Because I'll be honest with you, the taste sucks. <laughs> I, there's a lot of people on YouTube who are like, oh, this stuff's great. Now, I understand everybody's taste palate is different. All right. But if you've ever taken caffeine pills any time in your life, you if you've ever had one stuck in the back of your throat and you got that taste in your mouth, that it, uh, medicine taste, it's a very distinct taste you'll never forget. This has that taste. It's, it's an aftertaste, and it's nasty. <laughs> it is just nasty. Uh, 
Now, some of the flavors I've tried, uh, I think I've tried almost all their flavors except for maybe one or two. And some of the flavors cover it up better than others or make it pleasurable to drink at first. But you still get that aftertaste at the end of like a medicine. So, I mean, if you're going to try this stuff, get ready to chug it. Just chug it down. <laughs> get it over with because honestly you're i really don't i don't see anybody just sitting sitting down on a hot day wanting to sip this stuff but uh <laughs> now that that's out of the way after about 15 to 20 minutes it says after about 15 20 minutes you'll start feeling the effects of it and they were dead on about this because after about 15 minutes i started feeling it now it, it does give you a little bit of a, an energy boost. It did make wake us up, make us more alert. Um, yeah, it really did work. I mean, I know I wasn't as tired. I know I, I didn't get that jittery feeling like I was going to jump out of my skin like some energy drinks give you. Um, it, it relaxed me down. It seemed to really help me focus a lot more. Um now I don't, I can't honestly say, will you get used to it and have to drink a lot of it because you know you build a tolerance to it? I I don't know. I don't know what the long term effects of this stuff is because, honestly, a lot of energy drinks or a lot of these, uh, what do you want to say, like uh, mineral drinks or vitamin drinks, stuff like that, are not FDA approved. So you got to be careful in what you, what you really consume a lot of so I, I wouldn't go overboard in drinking this stuff now as far as price goes okay now a lot of people say it's expensive it's not really that expensive whenever you put it into contrast if you drink if you buy an energy drink every once in a while to you know drink one night when you're tired or when opening game you're going to pay about two to three dollars i mean at least for an energy drink if you buy a single serving, it, it it roughly breaks down to about $0.89 cents for a single serving packet of this. And you can buy uh, the big tubs. Now, the reason why it seems like it's expensive is because you're buying a bulk. I mean, you can either get a tub that's got like 48 servings, like a Gatorade tub powder thing with a scoop in it. Or you can get the single serving packet so you would dump into a water bottle. And... Uh, so price-wise, it's really not that bad. Now, shipping can be a little high. Um, I know they're working to improve on that, too. Um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, I we really feel. I mean, me and Anubis both agreed on this. It, it really did work. You know, uh, this was, like I said, the video here was a night that I was really, really tired. And after drinking that, I became more alert. I became more focused i mean stuff was really working well now on nights like this normally i'd probably be breaking even every match no matter what game i play but this night in particular i actually went i do believe it was like 44 and 29 on this map so i mean and it wasn't just this map it seemed like every map i was really on top of my game and it lasted for a couple hours. And after it lasted for a couple hours, yeah, it started, you know, wear off. And I started getting tired again. But uh, if you're a diabetic, if you're looking for an alternative source, you know, other than drinking energy drinks, and you're, you're looking for something, I highly recommend you check out Gamma G Fuel. I mean, it's, I, <laughs> I ain't got a lot of bad to say about it other than the taste. All right, guys, hope you like this review of this product, and I hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, hit a like. Always appreciate it. Subscribe. And as usual, guys, like, comment, subscribe. This is Odin signing out. See you on the server.